Hello everyone! In this video I will show you one of the way, which is pretty simple, how to create a Wheel of Fortune feature for your game, so player can spin the wheel by tapping the screen and get some prize. So let's quickly set up our scene to make it clear how it's done. First I add a wheel sprite to the scene, scale it down a bit, position it at the middle and bring it up a bit. Next game object will be an arrow that points the winning number on the wheel. Scale it down a bit as well and position it about here, so arrow points at number 1 when wheel's Z rotation equals to 0. Ok, now let's create a UI canvas that will contain text game object later on. Set its scale mode as scale with screen size, right click on canvas and create new UI text. I name it as win text. This text will be showing win number. Anchor it at the center holding Alt plus Shift keys. Modify its options. Set font family. Set text field. Set font size. Set alignment. Set overflow to overflow, so text will not disappear if it's bigger than its container. Set color. Double click to focus on it and bring it down a bit. Ok, almost forgot to set arrows order and layer to 5, so it will be rendered in front of the wheel, which order and layer is 0. To control this scene, we use the script named wheel. Let's take a look at it. First, we have random value variable, which will hold a number, how many times the wheel will shift its rotation. Time interval variable represents time in seconds between those shifts. Coroutine allow it variable will not let us spin the wheel while the wheel is spinning. Final angle variable will help us to determine what price we get. And here is win text reference to display that price. In start method we set coroutine allow it to true, so we can spin the wheel. And in update method we check if touch event occurs and touch face equals to begin, which means that we touch the screen with the finger, and if coroutine is allowed, then we start coroutine named spin. All of the magic happens in that coroutine. First we set coroutine allowed to false, so we will not be able to start same coroutine while this one is still running. Then we calculate random value, which will be equal to some number between 20 and 30, and we set time interval to 0.1. Then we have a loop that has number of iterations equals to calculated random value. And each iteration the wheel is rotated by 22.5 degrees. Then to slow the wheel down to the end of spinning, we have a couple of if statements. So if value of i variable is greater than half of the value of random value variable, which means that we are right at the middle of our loop, then we set time interval to 0.2, so the wheel will spin twice slower from this moment. And if we passed 85% of the loop, then the wheel will be spinning 4 times slower till the end of the loop. Wait for seconds, suspends coroutine execution by the time interval value. When the loop is over, we check if the wheel stops in the way that arrow appears in between of two numbers, between 1 and 2 for example, when wheel's Z rotation value equals to 22.5. In this and other same cases, we need to rotate the wheel by additional 22.5 degrees so the arrow points on certain number. After that we get that final angle value. And then in switch statement we set win text value according to wheel's final angle value. So if it's zero then arrow points at number one and win text shows you win one sign. If final angle is 45 then arrow points at number two and win text shows you win two sign. And so on. At the end of the coroutine we set coroutine allow it to true so we can spin the wheel one more time. That's the script. Drag and drop this script to wheel game object, select wheel and drag and drop win text game object into win text slot of wheel script component. That's it. This is how it works on my Android device. I tap the screen, wheel of fortune starts to spin. When it stops, win sign shows me what I win. Hope this tutorial was useful for you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.